Good morning. We have a beautiful morning and we have a low tide. So we are going to go look and see if we can find anything cool to show you in this low tide. Okay. Let's go. That's one for sure. Here we have a small octopus that we harvested this morning. Step one, keep it from crawling off the table and drinking my Diet Coke. Okay. It's still attached to it. Is it? Okay. So this is a pretty small one. I have no idea about how age, what the age is or whatever on these, but this is pretty small for around here. But it will be very good for eating, eating size. You could probably eat this whole thing maybe in a meal with our family. So the way you dispatch these or kill them is you pretty much just cut the head off and then you can then you can clean it. So like my head is cut off right now. Okay. So this thing is definitely alive still. And so what you do is you pretty much just here's its eyes right up here and the gills. And what you have to do is break the section and just cut the head off. There you go, real quick. There you go. But still moving, but it's it's dead. And then I want to show it moving. So here's headless. I'm sure, it's just muscle reflexes, like a chicken. But you can see it's turned pale and turned light, lighter color. Okay, next step is I will start skinning the um, the mantle or the head. The mantle is a good, very, very um, it's more tender, tender piece. It's kind of like what people make calamari out of, the squid head, so it's octopus head. So you take the knife and you just skin it. It's pretty straightforward. You um, get the skin off what I'm doing and then you expose all the white meat. All right, so we're getting the skin off and uh, after I get most of the skin, we'll just throw all the guts and stuff out on the beach. Cool, it turned different colors. Yeah, it turns. Okay, so almost. So that's all skin here. And I'm gonna throw that on the beach and the birds will eat that soon. And then I run my knife right up. So it's essentially aside the head. It's, um, I'll, I'll cut it open. And like the squid rings and stuff, octopus don't quite have the same shape of head. It's more of a big globe or ball. So cut it open here. 
they chopping a tree down? Kind of sounds like they're doing some chainsaw work down the beach. Oh, look at this. Yeah. And still stick. Here, oh. come, here, come over here and play with it over here. <laughs> okay. So I'm just trying to get the uh, gills and the other guts away from the mantle here. Carefully so that we so that we don't contaminate the meat you or anything. Eat the oh yeah, the mantle is the best part. That's the head. That's what you call. Okay, so here's the guts. And you can find the ink sac in there. I can try later. The kids love to try and make some painting and stuff. I kind of think it's just a mess. <laughs> but the novelty. Oh, that's his gut. That's his stomach there. That's his eyes. What's that stuff? Uh, that's one of his eyes, What's I think. This? Or is that the siphon? Dad, that's, that's his eye. So. I think that okay, is. so this is good here. This is good Dad, meat. That's a ink sac. So after we, we um, cut all the guts out of the head, you get this pretty much big plank. They're like a big sheet. It's pretty thin, and uh, that's very tasty. You can cut it in strips. You can do different things. Oh, I once went to a Daddy, fancy Daddy. restaurant in Anchorage, Daddy. and they had um, they had octopus head like this that they cut in a square and tenderized, and then put panko on it, and made a sandwich. Daddy. It was Daddy. really good. Daddy. So this is the um, brain, the, all the tentacles and the legs, it's just the and the, here's the center, and the beak would be down in here. We'll cut it out. Here's the brain. Somewhere in there. I don't know how their brain works. We should this, learn more about them. This is the brain, I think. No, those are the gills. Yeah. That's what helps it breathe underwater like a fish. What's this? Isn't this is the exact dad? Right there. Uh, no, that's the stomach, or What's part this? of the stomach, the intestine. Wow, this? it's still sticking to me. So as I'm trying to cut it, it just keeps sticking to me. Dad, okay. it's it fun to stick your ant stick on there. I guess. <laughs> okay, watch out, man. Hey, it's sticky. Oh, so this right here ready. is the um, the beak. If we cut it open, you can kind of see it really does. Let's see if I can pull this back. <laughs> it does really have like a beak type shape. And that's what they use to uh, eat clams and crabs and things. Still very sticky as I'm trying to work on like suction it. So here we go. There's two legs. I'll just kind of cut some legs out. Ooh. And so as we're getting Daddy. these legs off, we like to, these are very good to eat too, especially this small. And yeah. so I'm, and I'm pulling the legs off and I'm getting and, the skin. And uh, octopus is my favorite food. Yep, Weston loves octopus. Mm. And um, bring, so here's some skin. I just cut it off because it's a um, little excess, can uh, makes it a little chewy. So uh, we just take the skin off. And, uh, I like the skin on it. I like chewy. I like it really. In my at my office, the uh, Lucian Pribilof Islands Association, we had a grant a few years ago to do a cookbook for traditional native foods in Alaska for the Ooh, Aleutian Islands and the Aleut people. Uh, and one of the foods was octopus, and they had the nutritional facts. It was pretty interesting. There's like pretty much no fat or anything. It's a really good source uh, of protein and other vitamins. It's a really really healthy food. So, uh, um, we like to eat it. So here I'm just cutting. Um, I love the little tentacles at the end, but I'm just cutting the skin off here. Look at that. It comes right off with a fillet knife. Okay, throw that on the beach for the birds. That's a good one there. What's the right end here yet? Oh, they'll come. They'll Stick into it. Come on. Sometimes you'll get these octopus and you'll see like a partial missing leg or something where it had a fight with a sea otter or something else, but usually they're all connected. You can count all eight. So, so here we go. Here's like two legs. And uh, these, what you can do is you can take a mallet and pound it to tenderize a little bit if you want to. And then you can just slice along these tentacles. And with the cups too, you just eat those, clean it all off, just slice it into little Cups like you would slice part. a carrot well, or something. The cups are the and then best you can part. saute it and cook it up. I'll tell you this, the, the cups are the bit good as pipe. Oh, 
Okay, what can you move? Her, uh, actually, I'm gonna just. Uh, actually, I'm gonna rinse these real quick. That's just sucking to my hand. I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna do a little rinse on these before we put them in the dish. And then we'll. Let me see these all, Hunter. Here's the beak. Just a quick rinse. And then we'll put them in a bowl. Put them in the cooler and eat them up for lunch or dinner. Ugh, come on. Okay, so a couple years ago, um, I had uh, I was here with a friend of mine in the spring, early spring, April or something, and uh, we had we had cleaned, we had caught an octopus, and he was super excited, and we had uh, had it all ready, gutted, cleaned, just like this, and we had it in a Ziploc bag, and then we sat on the porch just over here, like 10 feet, and um, then we I, think I turned my back and was going to grab something just a few feet over here and then my friend was going to the outhouse and all of a sudden I heard this whoosh behind me and Eagle had dove down and grabbed it off the porch with that Ziploc bag and I think it startled it that was in the bag and I don't think I realized and then it flew off with it. My friend and I chased it because he was so frustrated because he was super excited, he'd never had octopus before and uh, we lost, we lost that octopus. It, that Eagle ate it, he flew up into a tree there and we could see him just munching away on it. So. That time of year, they're really, really hungry in the spring. Okay, time to clean up. So Mark is the chef tonight. He's using the octopus and the halibut we got yesterday and the octopus we got this morning. And we are having Mexican. Okay, just wait. Halibut tacos. And then he did the octopus. What did you put in the octopus? I right, put a little taco seasoning, some butter, and one lime. And we sauteed it for a while and the kids keep Feeling it. Feeling it, so it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna cut those Throw up. in some butter. It's super yummy. Yeah, that's and our favorite fish tacos. Whoop! Cut one up. Oh, these right here. Simply organic fish taco seasoning mix. Super yummy. Let's uh, have a prayer. Started. Here, I'm gonna give everyone a tortilla. I want mom. Tortilla? Well, that's a wrap of another full day of adventures at the Saldovia cabin. Thank you so much for watching and please hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up so that you can follow along on more adventures of this Alaska life. Thank you.